one of the most important things I think that um, is affected when you go into the hospital is that um, oftentimes in many hospitals across the United States, um, babies are taken away from their mothers. This often interrupts the natural reflexes that a baby would normally exhibit. And in fact, it's a really simple thing that you can do, that any woman can do who has a hospital birth, um, is to ask that the baby be put right on her belly right after the birth and to request that it stay there for about an hour or two. That's one of the simplest things that any woman can do to increase the likelihood that um, the baby will go right to the nipple naturally and be a really good nurser. Why that works is that when the baby is lying on their tummy, it triggers what are known as primitive neonatal reflexes. And as opposed to le leaning the baby on their back, if you have the baby lying on their tummy, it triggers this program. The breastfeeding program is vested in the newborn, so you want to trigger that program. And when the baby's lying on your tummy, not taken away from the mom, it can just naturally move, sniff, crawl, feel, lick, nuzzle, move towards the nipple, just naturally. It sort of, it just causes that program to be expressed. So that first hour or two after birth are really, really important. And that's what has been missing in hospital births for the last, I don't know, 125 years, is they've taken these babies right from birth, put them in a nursery. And then the moms wonder why they can't get them to nurse. And they're all wrapped up and you put them in your arm like this and you're trying to stuff the nipple in their mouth. This is a really easy way. It's not necessarily easy because not all hospitals tend to want to do it, but it's a very simple way to get that baby to just sort of naturally express that breastfeeding program. Those first two hours are really important because the baby is in a quiet alert state. Eyes are wide open. She's looking right at you. You're both saturated with oxytocin. Oxytocin is that hormone of uh, labor which causes contractions, but it's also the hormone of love. So you're full of oxytocin, the baby's full of oxytocin, you fall in love. It's a normal, natural time for you to just fall in love with your baby and the baby to fall in love with you. Once the baby starts to nurse, then the mother secretes prolactin. Prolactin is the hormone that is going to produce milk, but it also is the fierce mother, that the tiger mama hormone, that fierce protective uh, nature of mothers is um, produced with prolactin. So you have oxytocin, the hormone of love, you're falling in love, the baby starts to latch on, you have prolactin, the mom becomes fiercely protective. And as your milk comes in, oxytocin also acts as um, the letdown hormone. It's the hormone that allows the milk to become, to flow and to become readily av available to the baby. So you have oxytocin, love, oxytocin, letdown, prolactin, fierce protective mama, and lots of milk production. So these hormones are at, all of these are highest in those first two hours, and it's really optimal to be able to get that baby skin to skin. They can dry the baby off, wrap you in warm towels and the mom, or warm blankets, and the mom acts like an incubator for the baby. So they don't need to be taken away and put under a warmer. If the baby gets taken away from you for some reason, if it has to go to the intensive care unit or you're not well, if there's some reason why the baby has to be taken away, what can you do? At your first opportunity, whenever they bring the baby to you and you finally are together, take your shirt off, take the baby's clothes off and put them skin to skin, wrap yourself up and just let that baby nuzzle. Best to do it when the baby's not hungry. Um, because then you can just kind of hang out there and get these primitive reflexes going as if it was that first hour. You can sort of recreate this. The hormones aren't going to be quite as optimal, but you do what you can and it still will have a really good effect. So just remember that separation is one of the most important things to avoid because it actually causes a disruption, an interruption in this natural flow of hormones and natural expression of the baby's program to nurse and the mother's program to mother.